Much has happened since the EcoSwing generator reached its destination. After lifting, installation, test and commissioning, the moment of truth arrived, connecting the superconducting generator to the grid. It was a very great joy to, to see it running. The first time when we connected it to the grid and we produced the power, it was a really, really nice moment. Here in the harsh climate on the west coast of Denmark, superconducting technology has reached a new milestone. Ecoswing is the first wind power generator working in the real development, connected to the grid producing energy. That's really unique. We don't see any, any unexpected voltage increases or temperature increases. Um, so, so far everything is yeah, within what they were designed that's for. Great. That's great, yeah, that's good news. The EcoSwing superconducting generator has taken the place of the old conventional generator here in the nacelle, with one visible difference. You can see that there's a lot bigger gap between the generator and the cover, meaning that we save about one meter of space on each side, so the generator overall is a lot smaller than uh, what the conventional generator. Saving space at the top of a wind turbine might not seem like an important venture, but there's more to it than that. The future perspective of having a much more energy dense design is that the generator will be lighter than a conventional permanent magnet generator and that would mean also that we decrease the top mass of a turbine. Especially if you go to offshore wind turbines with the large powers and in the end to floating platforms. This would be a huge advantage to have a very compact and light device. Compact and light devices are only interesting if they can do the job and the EcoSwing generator is doing just that. This is the, the power we are actually uh, feeding into the, into the grid. So we are about 490 kilowatts times 4, that gives about 2 megawatts of power. The generator is working as expected. It's, it's very stable when it's running and uh, it is within um, what we have calculated and designed and expected. The generator, which began its life three years ago as superconducting tape, is now producing energy to actual consumers, thanks to EU funding and a collaboration between nine partners with very specific skills. So many different people, different cultures, different companies, different interests working together to achieve such a goal is, is the most impressive part. Using a superconductor, using conventional lab technology like vacuum technology and cryogenics, but combining all these things in an industrial environment, that's one of the key points of this project and that is what is most impressive to me, most interesting to me. Thanks to the EcoSwing project, superconducting technology has now established itself on an industrial scale and in a challenging real-world environment. I would say the biggest challenge is um, to convince the end customer that we have a technology at hand which pr uh, provides huge advantages for their product. That's the, actually the biggest uh, challenge. Technologically, we know how to solve the issues 